Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to take a look of this entry level printer and uh, see its ability to print photos. And uh, so we can decide if it's possible to use uh, those printers to print the professional photos. Uh, this printer, TS6320, it uses uh, five cartridges. It's uh, your typical uh, KCMY. K is a black, um, those for the photos. And then it has a PG, PG black, which is a pigment black that's used for text. It has two paper sources. One is under, underneath the printer. And then there's a straight feed tree from the back, uh, which is really nice to have when you print uh, things like labels or glossy papers. We're going to compare this printer to an entry-level professional photo printer, which is uh, Epson Shortcolor P600. I know it's not a fair uh, comparison because a P600 is about 10 times more expensive than, the, uh, than the, this little Canon printer. However, wouldn't be interesting if this uh, uh, little Canon printer can beat this professional Epson printer. That'd be super, super nice. Uh, those professional printers are pretty intimidating. Even for the black, you get four blacks. You get a made black, you get a photo black, you get light black, and a light, light black. So those would be pretty super nice, smooth grayscale. And uh, for the color, it's kind of okay. It's, uh, I have a cyan, light cyan, magenta, light magenta. Out of the box, the Canon did pretty well. We just did a basic installation and go click uh, print and print this photo. If you get this photo to your grandma, she's not going to complain about the color at all. For those budget uh, printers, Canon only gives uh, only one ICC for everything. So let's put that ICC on, see if it's uh, going to improve this picture a little bit. Uh, the ICC profile name is called uh, Canon AG2005. It should be installed automatically from your installation disk to your PC or Mac. Uh, however, Canon, they don't tell you you can use it because uh, they probably don't want you to print photos with their printer. Anyway, so the right side is with ICC. You can see her cheek is redder. She look like a more like a real person than vampire. Uh, in case you don't know how to add uh, ICC to your printer, um, if you have, have ICC profile that's emailed by somebody, you can just right click and do install. And uh, for this, uh, it's already installed. So uh, you can just pick uh, any picture and go print. And uh, don't, worry, don't worry about this. Uh, go to options, click, and do color management. And uh, here's all the devices on your uh, on your computer. So we're just going to find this. Yeah, this is a PS6300 printer. You can see after Canon installed, Canon doesn't point it to the ICC profile. So basically, you're printing without ICC. So I'm gonna add ICC, add a add a file. And then I'm going to find the Canon that I used. There's um, Canon IG Color Printer Profile 2005. OK. And now you can also do it in Photoshop. When you do File, Print, you can see the Color Management section. And uh, it asks you, it asks you uh, who's going to handle the ICC profile. So you can see right now it's like the uh, saying printer going to manage the color. So printer going to pick the ICC because we already attached ICC to the printer that a, a second ago. So the printer is going to pick IG 2005. Okay. So as paranoid as I am, I often go to I'm going to manage myself, okay? And then 
I print what I, I pick whatever SEC I want. In this case, I pick this SEC. With or without SEC, uh, this canyon seems to have some problem with colors. Uh, can you see like a bunch of uh, squares they lump together from a big patch rather than gradually merge into other colors? Can you see the one on the blue? This one is with SEC, and this without SEC is about the same, same thing. Uh, with SEC, the red is a, little, is a little bit better. It's more gradually uh, uh, faded into yellow. So that's probably why we add color to her cheeks. When some color cannot be expressed, so it's printed on as the other colors, so you can get a group of colors just uh, aggregated together. Uh, printing color is the easy part. Let's check out, check out grayscales. Uh, you can see it has a pretty nice separation of grayscales and uh, from 255 to down to zero, and uh, each one is clearly uh, separated. So that's okay there. Uh, the problem is that uh, the continuous grayscale. And you can see there's a definitely a, a purplish band in the middle. So that's you have problem of uh, color mixing right there. And also I'm kind of feeling that uh, the transition is not as smooth as possible. Uh, the, it's really hard to describe. So if I just look at it, I get a white, I get a black, then I get something in the middle. I'm kind of uh, have three things here, not a gradually change. It's really hard to say, uh, but let's put the absent on top so you can see it. On top is absent, so you can see you get a black, you get a white on both sides. In the middle, it's a really, really smooth transition. Uh, don't worry about the uh, canyon look like uh, the canyon's black look a little bit deeper, and because uh, that's a trick on, on your eyes, uh, I think a canyon just add a little bit cyan or blue in the in the black, so make it look look deeper. However, if you do a color check, the uh, I did a color check, and the absence black is a perfect black. Uh, if you turn the paper sideways, you're going to see. Uh, there are more colors on the canvas that uh, they collapse together and uh, the absent look much, much nicer. So since we're here, I still put it, uh, uh, let's put the can on the left, absent on the right. And uh, this is what I'm, I'm talking about. See how gradual it is? And this, and let's see those big uh, blotch of color. So, so that means purpose something wrong with uh, with the blue, and also uh, we talk about how nice the the red is. But if you compare it to absent, which is it's really really not evenly distributed, uh, gradually out um, versus uh, this uh, versus uh, the cannon. The cannon's red is still not as good as absent's red. Okay, so much for soft proofing. Uh, let's uh, scan a real ICZ profile from each of the printers. Okay, let's plot the data from both printers. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm using a CIE lab plot. I assume everybody is familiar with it, and uh, let me just go over it really quick. Uh, we're going to put all the colors uh, into a three-dimensional space. Uh, vertical axis is the L axis. It's from a very, very light, which is a diffuse white, to the bottom, which is uh, really, really dark. So if a uh, color is on the top, it's light, lighter than the color uh, on the bottom. Okay, imagine your zero is here. For the A axis, as a color towards the left is greener, uh, if a color goes to your right, it's more magenta. So from a green to magenta yeah, for the A axis. So for the B axis, if it's towards the left, it's uh, blue. If it's a color more towards your right, it's yellow. So basically, 
uh, this three-dimensional structure capture the color and capture the lightness. And this is all the colors that uh, Epson P600 printer can produce that we put in this uh, really nice three-dimensional space. And uh, we, call it, uh, uh, we call it a gamut plot. And uh, if a printer is produced a smaller space, that the printer is, uh, is not worth as much as the printer can produce a larger or deeper space. Let's load the cannons. This cannons, you already can tell it's slightly rounder than the Epson. Epson is kind of a lot longer than this. If you forget, this is what uh, Epson look like. Uh, let's just put them two together, so uh, we don't have to remember them. Okay, now we put the two of them together. Um, let's uh, hide the cannon first, and uh, we make the we make the the Epson to be a wireframe. So this is Epson, and uh, then we we'll put a cannon. On. Okay, all those wires that you see is the color that Epson can generate, but Canon cannot. You can see there's a big, huge space here in the blue and uh, and the cyan section that the Canon cannot generate. So it's not only the color can generate in terms of deepness. If you look at the vertical L axis, there are uh, there's some some place that Canon just cannot go. So there's a big chunk of color missing from uh, this series of uh, Canon uh, printers, uh, uh, which I would not recommend this printer for color printing. So what can you do if your color is this bad? Actually, guess what? Canon is making a blue cartridge. Okay, uh, it's a blue CLI 281 cartridge that you can use in this series. Um, uh, those printers have uh, five colors, uh, KCMY and uh, PK. Uh, they, they don't have a slot for this one. Only a few models, they have a blue slot for blue cartridge just to fix this problem. It would be interesting to see if you plug that uh, blue cartridge in, what the ICC will look like. It will look like a bird, it will look like a plant, and uh, interesting. So maybe uh, if I have money, I mean, uh, I probably get another printer that has this blue cartridge. And that would be really interesting to see how much, uh, how much Canon corrected, and uh, if that can, can be uh, comparable to the Epson printer. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.